Hi friends, welcome to Ajay Automation channel. I hope you are all doing good. So in this video, let's quickly see about some mistakes we make during Selenium automation interviews. Okay, let's quickly start. So the first one is failing to explain about your test automation framework level enhancements. So I have seen many candidates struggle to answer this question. So as an automation engineer, you might have bring anything new to your framework or you have, you might have enhanced your existing framework. Okay, like implementing parallel execution or maybe you have implemented CACD automation or maybe you have configured Allure reporting instead of test ng reports. These are all small enhancements we have made in our automation testing test framework. Okay, so please be prepared to answer this question. And the next question is failing to explain how you choose automation test cases. We might work in any test management tools like Jira or Bugzilla. Okay, so selecting um, automation test cases from a list of 1000 to 2000 test cases you should be able to explain the process how you select automation test cases maybe you do in sprint automation as well so existing reg regression test cases how you select or maybe you automate critical high priority test cases and parallelly you do in sprint automation also you can explain that way initially we automate critical priority test cases and uh, parallelly we do in sprint automation and once it's over we go for low priority test case automation okay so let's see the next question lack of explanation for locator choice so overusing or talking about xpath unnecessarily instead of efficient locators like idr css is a negative okay so please be prepared in this question talk about xpath uh, uh, sorry talk about css selector and id more and talk less on xpath okay because these are the fastest way to locate web elements id and using id and css selector okay so the next question is weak synchronization strategy using thread.sleep. I have seen many candidates code uh, has thread.sleep co commands. Okay, please do remove this before your code commit and make use of explicit weight whenever it's required. It will save us a lot, large amount of test execution time. Okay. So the next question is mixing implicit and explicit weight. This question was asked recently in an interview. Are you using both implicit and explicit weight in your framework? Okay. And uh, the answer is we should not use both implicit and explicit weights. Uh, okay. So it will result in unpredictable errors or behavior. Okay. Try to use explicit weight whenever required. So that as I said, it will save us a large amount of test execution time. Okay. And uh, then let's see the next question. No knowledge or less knowledge of CI/CD integration. As you know, many of our automation uh, projects or automation project test runs in CI/CD pipeline like in Jenkins or Bamboo. So we should know how it is working and how these builds are triggered, how many hours once it's auto configured, etc. Maybe it's configured every day and whenever you do your code commit, it works. You should be able to explain this to the interviewer. Okay. And the next question is poor code reusability explanation. Okay, when interviewer asks, how do you uh, do code reusability and you should be able to explain. Okay, maybe you separate all the duplicate code in your test spaces or utility classes and call it from those classes. So basically, you should be able to explain this to the interviewer. Okay, so let's see the next question. Hard coding test data. Okay, so do not hard code test data in your actual Selenium test. Maybe I have seen many candidates in uh, they write uh, uh, the test data inside their Selenium test. Okay, that is not recommended. Use any data driven uh, testing approach like in Excel or in uh, property files, etc. Okay, so the next question is poor handling of dynamic web elements. So I have seen many candidates talk about writing absolute XPath for handling dynamic web elements. Okay, so that is uh, we cannot completely depend on absolute XPath for handling web elements because if there is any change in your HTML tree, our XPath won't work. So it's better to use functions like contain start with a normalized space to locate dynamic element, web elements. And as you know, the, these web elements may appear after, after a delay. So we have to use explicit weight also along uh, to capture dynamic web elements. So you have to explain this to the interviewer. Okay, let's see the next question. Lagging about explaining your automation test process. So consider the interviewer is asking like what process you follow for test automation and when do you prepare automation test scripts in your particular sprint. So many candidates make same mistakes here. They are not aware when to perform automation in the sprint and they lag in explaining the test automation process. So you can explain like once you complete manual testing in the start of the sprint, you start in sprint automation and if you have time, you select regression test cases automation from the backlog also. Okay, so the test automation process can be like once test scripts are ready, we push, push the code to git repository for code review and once code review is successful, we create pull request and match the changes to master branch and review the 
test logs in CACD pipeline. Okay, so please be prepared in this question. Let's see the next one. Lack of knowledge about cross browser testing. So as you all aware now, we have to test our application in multiple browsers. So as so as, so as like we have to automate it, our test case in multiple browsers. So you might have worked on test ng parallel tests or selenium grid. So please do explain the whole process. How you have configured parallel execution? Are you using test ng or selenium grid? Uh, you can explain it to the interviewer. Okay, so next one is lack of understanding of Selenium architecture. Many candidates um, are still using the older Selenium versions. We have to be up to date about the latest Selenium versions and latest Selenium architecture. Okay, so please be prepared in explaining about the latest Selenium architecture usages. Okay, let's see the next question. So understanding the interviewer's perspective. Okay, so you can get a basic idea like what the interviewer is expecting from the questions asked from them. So we cannot make mistake in while explaining automation framework. So many candidates uh, just explaining the automation framework and uh, components, uh, they took alone 15 to 20 minutes. Okay, the experienced interviewers, they talk a lot, lot about automation framework and its components, what you have done in the framework, what are the files you are working on, how, how you are doing test reporting, code commit, etc. They will talk for at least 15 to 20 minutes. That's a big positive, okay, because he is impressed by the way you have answered. So that's why he is keep he kept on repeating questions from automation framework. So please be prepared thoroughly in the com automation framework components. Uh, when they ask, explain about your automation, talk about like one to two minutes. From those one to two minutes, they will ask questions. Okay. So please be prepared very well in automation framework areas. Okay. Let's see the next question. No logging or test reporting knowledge. So many in many interviews I have seen how do you handle test failures? What will you do when you when a test suit fail happen? So you should be able to explain about how you are doing logging and test reporting. Okay, so please be uh, prepared in tools like uh, log4j extend reports or allure or test ng reports. How we are configured those tools and what is the usage of these tools? Okay, and the next question is not keeping up with recent tools and trends as you know AI is more popular now so you should know where AI is helping in test automation as well as you should be aware of docker files and latest selenium features etc. Okay, please do read uh, latest selenium release notes etc. Okay, so let's see the next one. So consider the interviewer is asking a question you and you are explaining a definition this shows our bookish knowledge so please do explain about the real time scenarios how you uh, when you face this scenario and how did you overcome that scenario instead of explaining about definitions you read from a book okay the, so when your experience grows we, we cannot explain like definition again and again we have to explain about the real world scenarios okay and avoid grammatical errors in the interview overcome it by pra practicing again and again read watch and attend lot of mock tests before real interviews okay this will definitely help improving your confidence level okay so we have come to end of today's video i hope this will be definitely useful for your upcoming op automation interviews please do subscribe my channel ajay automates and watch out for more automation training and interview preparation related videos thank you take care bye